I'm going to show you how you can quickly gain access to our online library, Sora. The first thing you're going to need to do is to log into your computer, Chromebook, or personal device using your Bullock County account. Now there are two different ways to get to the Sora site. The first is going to be to go to the website, which is soraapp.com slash library slash resaga. The second way to get there is going to be to go to your managed bookmarks, go to class link, sign in to class link. When you see this screen, you're going to go to educational resources. Then you're going to scroll down to the Sora icon. So those are two different ways to get to Sora. Now let's take a look. First of all, make sure that you're in the First District RESA Shared Digital Collection. Now, how do you find a book? For starters, we can go here to search for a book. Let's do some popular searches. I know that Harry Potter is a popular search with our older students. When you see this, you see that we can look for ebooks or audiobooks. So I'm going to narrow my search to ebooks. These are books that you would read. First of all, you can borrow. This is like checking it out, but I strongly suggest that you read a sample first. You'll be able to read a few, a few pages of the chapters. Now let's say that instead of ebooks, you wanted audiobooks. And when I'm looking here, I see that all of our audiobooks are taken. So we could place a hold if we wanted to be on the wait list for that book. Okay, let's look at another popular book series. This time I'm going for biscuit books. And here we see that we have 11 ebooks. So again, we can borrow this book, we can read a sample, or we could add it to our list. I'm going to borrow this book. Oops, it looks like I've reached my limit, so I'll have to turn one in before I can borrow it. You can only borrow three books at a time. So let's go to my bookshelf. We were in Explore to find our books to search. Now when we go to our shelf, we see what I have. I have checked out these three books. And if I want to open the book, I'll get to where I was. Here are my options. So I can renew my book. I can return the book or send the book to a device. So I could send this to a Kindle. But I want to show you how to return a book. So I'm going to click on return the book and you just click return. Now I have two books out. So I'm going to go back to explore to show you how you can check out a book. Again, I'm going to go back to my biscuit book and I want to borrow biscuit goes to school. And here it is, I've borrowed this book. So now I could read the book if I wanted to. It's going to be in my bookshelf. So we're still in the Explore. We do have preferences that you can click on. This will um, narrow down your searches. There's another way you can search for a book and it would be by popular subjects. Let's say you didn't know a title that you wanted, but you did know that you wanted to take a look at some graphic books. So here you would be able to see the different types of graphic books that you had. Or let's say that we wanted picture books. Again, you would be able to see the different picture books that were available. Now, if I click on Home, I'm going to see that I have three books out. You can see which words you've defined lately 
or any notes or highlights that you have with the book. Finally, I want to take you to the me. On this one, you can change your name or add your name. You can change your image. I like to leave it as the books. And it also tells some statistics. How many books have you opened? How much time have you been reading? Your current reading streak. And then you'll have different achievements. So for the amount of time that you read and how many books that you get, you'll get different achievements. So this was a brief introduction of how to use Sora. So I hope that you use this and explore and check out some great books. Happy reading.